Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites and welcome to another lesson from 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast which was written by Aid Al-Qarni and can be accessed at galamullah.com. Let's read. Page 48. Lesson 10. How does the eye fast? And there is also the fasting of the eye. What kind of fast? The fast of the eye is to prevent it from seeing forbidden things and to cover it from indecencies. Tell the believing men to lower their gaze and to be mindful of their chastity. This will be the most conducive to their purity. And, verily, God is aware of all that they do. And tell the believing women to lower their gaze and to be mindful of their chastity, and not to display their charms in public beyond what may decently be apparent thereof. Hence, let them draw their head covering over their bosoms. Quran 24 verse 30 to 31 The eye is an opening to the heart and a door to the spirit. Ali ibn Abi Talib once asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, about the gaze. He, peace be upon him, replied, Lower your gaze. Hence, whoever does not lower his gaze will be afflicted by four calamities. 1. The disposing of the heart in every direction and its tearing apart in every field. As a consequence, it has no stability and enjoys no inner peace. Neither is it able to mobilise all its power. It is wounded and weakened, and quite rightly complains of the misdeeds of the eyes, his gazes and glances. 2. Punishment of the soul and training it with the loss of what it saw and did not get. The soul, because of the act of the eye, is in constant distress, anxiety and turmoil. 3. With the release of forbidden glances, the sweetness of worship and obedience is lost. Thus, say goodbye to the light of faith if the eye is not disciplined and made to fast from the unlawful sights. The souls will neither taste faith nor find conviction except through the control of the eyes. 4. Because of the great sin incurred by its violation of honour and privacy, the eyes would be rewarded with great sin. No one ever fell into filth and perversion except after his eyes had gone astray. Surely there is no movement and no power except with Allah the Most High, the Most Magnificent. One of our righteous forebears said, I once looked at something that was forbidden and I forgot the Qur'an. After 40 years, Allah rewarded him for lowering his gaze by endowing him with faith, the sweetness of which he tasted in his heart. Thus, it is often said that the eye is the pathfinder. If it is sent out, it hunts. If it is bridled, it follows. And if it is let loose, it lands the heart in vice. Likewise, others have commented about the eye. If its rain gets out of control, it dashes you, and if you release its lead, it hurts you. Still in addition, Shah al-Qarmani observed, Whoever lowered his gaze from forbidden things and nourished his stomach with the fear of God and displayed it by following the sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, his intuition will never mislead him. Al-Qarmani completed this comment with the Quranic verse. Verily, in all this, there are messages indeed for those who can read the signs. Quran 15 verse 75. There are five benefits and honours to be gained from lowering the gaze. 1. Obedience to Allah Almighty's command to lower the gaze. This by itself is enough as a blessing and honour in this world and the next. 2. Peace of the heart, its nourishment as well as its realisation of its full potential, comfort, happiness and ease. 3. Avoidance of calamities and safety from trials and misdeeds. 4. Allah opens his servant the doors of knowledge, understanding, success and uprightness, a fitting reward for his piety. 
5. Allah will instill a sense of discernment in the heart of the learned and his perfect light in the souls of the truthful. Again, a reward for those who lowered their gazes. Accordingly, when Ramadan comes, the eyes are expected to fast in obedience to the ever-living, the self-subsisting. The benefits of hunger are all too many, simply because of the eye. Know, therefore, that hunger curtails the excesses of the eye and restrains its misdeeds and limits their scope. Similarly, hunger weakens the desire to gaze and, and it stifles the heat of the sight. When the licentious release their gazes and fill their eyes, they fall into the filth of disobedience and the snares of indecency. There are some people whose stomachs fast from food and drink, but their eyes gaze in the shrubbery of forbidden sights. Such people do not know the real essence of fasting. O servant of Allah, let our eyes fast from the unlawful things in the same way that we abstain from food and drink. Let our hearts be healthy and our spirits relax. And, and so, God will preserve them from their woes of that day and will bestow on them brightness and joy and will reward them for all their patience in adversity with a garden of bliss and with garments of silk. Quran 76, 11-12 May the peace, mercy and blessings of Allah be upon the one whose eyes fast for the pleasure of his Lord. So that was the end of lesson 10. Please do join us for the next lesson tomorrow, inshallah. And of course, do share these lessons with your family and friends and do leave a review and rate wherever you listen. We are on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Please check out our social media as well as our website, islamicaudiobytes.com. And if you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, Hope our days are full of goodness. Assalamu alaikum.